to answer some of your questions. Hi. Okay, Marlene. Oh, hi. Long time no see. Uh, so what are we going to talk about right now? About the bugs and all that? No, right now there's questions. Oh, well, I was doing the news. So... For one? Stand by. Hey, you know what? No, wait. No, we got it. Cool. It's in my personal email, though. Oh, guys, not, not the trees? Oh. No. Well, good good news, because in the 10, I am going to talk about pets, but we're going to cover okay, move back. you right. Well, Here I come. Really Here I come. <laughs> you go talk to Marlene. And I'll... <laughs> Hi, Marlene. Where are your cats? How many cats do you have, Marlene? Uh, well, I have eight. Eight? Oh. Four inside, four outside, two that come in at night. Yeah, I have wow. a lot of cats. Okay, I got a question for you. Uh, can okay. you and how do you know if you're over fertilizing uh, your plants, your indoor plants? Uh, okay. Uh, Get ready. Number one. Oh. Uh, can I answer that? <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. Go ahead. <laughs> go ahead. Okay. If your leaves are burning, if the edges are burning, usually you're over fertilizing ah. it because that's the fertilizer is going to move to the ends of the leaves or it's going to um, inhibit water pickup of uh in the plant and um really that's the number one sign sometimes you could kill a plant by over fertilizing it, it. Okay. but remember don't fertilize all the time mm -hmm. you know just do it regularly you compost your soil that, that's fine um but the plant will tell you what it needs okay usually the solution is not fertilizer got I'll it i'll just say that all right thank you i think all people right. over fertilize you ready i'm ready mock <laughs> orange plant Yes. Why is it looking bad? Okay. So, um, interesting that mock orange is a common name for two different plants. It's uh, Pittosporum or Philadelphus, but the size of this plant and uh, the fact that it's more common makes me think that this is a Pittosporum. Um, that's a pretty big old one. Now, part of that looks like if you kept shearing it, that's what happens when you just lightly shear the outside of a shrub. You'll have this sparse growth. Um, but there's also that section that's dead. So what you need to do is actually climb under that plant, look at the branches, look at the structure, look for any oozing, look for any cracks, um, because you want to remove anything that looks diseased or damaged. You know, just having a few branches die here and there is not unusual, but you do want to see what's going on. Make sure the water's not too wet, the soil's not too wet, because that could lead to rot as well. Um, but you have to inspect the tree a little bit more. It's most likely not a pest because it's isolated. It's not a fertilizer. Um, it's, it could be either bad or just maybe uh, tweaking the water a little bit. Okay, very good. Sorry, Sorry Tina. No, 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 no. You're, no a problem. you're a trooper. No you're problem. A trooper. All right, uh, we'll talk to you in a little while, right? Yes, pests in the tent. Pass in the ten. <laughs> Let's just leave it at that. All right. <laughs> plant Lady, follow her. The Plant Lady at KMXTV.com is an email, or you can all reach her on Facebook, Marlene the Plant Lady, as well as Instagram. All right, back over to you. Mm -hmm. Thank you, thank you so much. And